What's going on YouTube and welcome back to our channel here at Vagabond Builds and today we're bringing you another walk around review video of the all new refreshed 2024 Hyundai Kona and this is the new look from the exterior. We're going to be talking about the exterior, interior and specs about this exact car. But before we do, because it is not a sponsored video and we truly need it and appreciate your guys' support, please tap that like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, if you do have something for us to film, Here's our email below, email us and we can talk details later. A special shout out and a thanks to Roseville Hyundai here in Roseville, California for providing us this beautiful Hyundai for this review. And keep watching and stay tuned because we are going to be dropping that MSRP sticker so you guys get an exact idea of what comes on this car and the price tag on top. Now let's go ahead and talk Hyundai Kona. So now let's kick this review walk around video of what we have under the hood on the new 2024 Hyundai Konas, this being the SEL trim, okay? So I'm gonna mention things going through this review. But under this hood is a 2.0 inline four liter engine that is paired together with the eight speed automatic transmission. Now they do have the option of a, uh, of a 1.6 turbocharged engine. This is the naturally aspirated engine. Now it does bring to you 147 horsepower with 132 pounds feet of torque. A little bit about the MPG is 26 city, 29 highway and a 27 combined with the 12.4 gallon gas tank size. If we shoot over to the side of the car, kind of get you guys to take a look of what this car looks the new refresh look of the 2024 Kona, starting with the length, 171 inches in length, 72 inches in width, and 63 inches in height with a ground clearance of 8.1 inches, this being the all-wheel drive. The ground clearance does change if it is a standard front-wheel drive Kona. The wheelbase does increase to 104 inches, Guys, and let me know what you guys think about this new 2024 Hyundai Kona in the comment section below, okay? So let's go ahead and show you guys the front end of this car. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the car so you guys get an idea of what the lights look like. Now, lights are on. We left the hazards on so you guys get an idea. The daytime running bar, it doesn't go all the way across, but it's just on the left and the right, okay? Got the LED lighting and kind of the dual jewel eye headlights with that hazard in that bulb, okay? Matte black plastic here on the lower side of that front end with that kind of matte gray look. Now, one thing I want to mention is between trims, you have four trims in this, okay? You have the SE, the SEL, the N line, and then the limited, okay? This is the SEL. Check out our other videos at Vagabond Builds for comparison videos between trims. Continuing forward, here on the left, you got that matte black plastic coming in over from the front, over the wheel well, and to the side of the car. Let's go ahead and talk some rims and tires, okay? So it's a 215, 55, 18, and they are running the Kumo Solist tires at that size, and the, the rim itself is a black gloss towards the interior side of the rim, and the machine surface silver with a spring shock suspension, okay? That's a standard suspension. Coming forward, you have the side mirror with the blind spot assist, integrated blinker lighting in the two colors, the red, the color of the car, and then the matte black plastic. The handle kind of pulls out towards you with that trim there, okay? I want you guys to kind of keep an eye out on that cut. We see that the Hyundais did put those cuts in different uh, model cars, giving it some more character, not so boring. You got the roof rails, in that kind of matte gray look that we've seen in the front. Over to the rear end, you got that nice kind of pop-out body, giving it a wider look or a wider stance with that matte black plastic trim coming all the way over to the rear, which leads us to the rear tail lights. okay? Kind of different, right? We know that Hyundai has kind of a different look, but again, they are selling these cars, right? The hazards there with the tail lights, and then you have that full tail light LED bar, which is a very nice feature to have when you're at night. It just gives it a very kind of rich uh, look. Kona, Hyundai, right under you have a backup camera under the tailgate over the license plate, finishing that rear end off with the matte black plastic um, bumper, okay? There are no sensors on the front or the back of this car for the people who'd like to know the SEL, all right? Up top, you have the spoiler, but 
get a load of this. A different look on that integrated brake lighting, okay? That wiper for that back glass. Let's go ahead and open up this tailgate. It is a manual lift tailgate, which opens up to us the cargo area. So let's go ahead and talk some cargo area with the back seats folded up. You get 26 cubic feet of space. If we were to drop those back seats down, which is a 40 percenter on the passenger side and a 60 percenter on the driver's side, you get a whopping 64 cubic feet of space. OK, this is the cover to your trunk. I wanted to show you guys what's under here as well. You have a spare tire. I'm a fan of spare tires. Give me my spare tires because I don't want to feel like I'm going to be stuck somewhere if my tire pops. Cubby room on the right, cubby room on the left. OK, and some tie downs here on the left and right, all right? So now that we're pretty much done with talking some specs, some exterior and cargo area, let's go ahead and jump into the newly 2024 Kona interior. So now inside the 2024 Hyundai Kona and get a load of the new look on the Kona in the SEL trim, okay? With these beautiful increased or sorry, upgraded tech, 12.3 inches in the infotainment screen, 12.3 inches in the driver cockpit cluster. But let's go ahead and bring over the door panel to you first, okay? Door panel, new look, cup holder, space, control unit to your windows and your electrical controlled side mirrors. On the left-hand side of the manual steering column, you have the dimmable lighting button for your dashboard, traction control and hill decline assist with your parking brake button, okay? Now moving forward, we come over to the driver cockpit cluster display, 12.3 inches as mentioned. You can go through the info cards with the wheel here on the left-hand side of your steering wheel, your new look on the steering, okay? So you could also go through different drive modes. You get three different drive modes and the theme kind of changes as you go through the drive modes. So we're gonna leave it in normal. Again, you got the paddle shifters going for that eight-speed automatic transmission, controls for your windshield wipers on the right, lighting here on the left, and then your toggle switch here for your um, transmission shifting. So let's go to reverse. And as you go into reverse, you get your cameras and you get three different angles on your cameras. OK, we're going to leave it in the normal angle. Let's go ahead and push that button for the park. And now we're back into parking. All right. The infotainment screen, you can slide very touch sensitive and responsive. I will mention that I like that. So you're not sitting there waiting on a lag or anything. You can go also over to click on the full navigation, 12.3 inches. Go home. And if we slide, we could go over to weather, letting us know, again, you're going to have to hook up and all that stuff. Setup. Let's go ahead and show you guys a little bit about the setup. You could set it up how you want, drive connections, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto Assist, right? But moving forward, your media buttons off in the manual hard buttons with your knobs there. Dual climate control. <coughs> I want to show you guys what that looks like. Drop in out. All right. You got your air AC you can sync both of them as well dropping down continuing forward you have USB-C plugins two of them but one thing is very cool on the left is that you can plug in and press this button maybe you want to USB and charge it at the same time or you just want to charge it so it's not affecting with your media under that you have your wireless charging pad that once it starts to charge you will see the light there on that right hand of that USB-C plugin 12 volt outlet if we go ahead and push that lid more buttons, you have the heated seats, drive mode button for going in through the snow, the sport and all that. Your camera letting you see what's behind you, clicking out of that. Cup holders with some cubby room. You can close these cup holders just like that. If you do need them, you push these two buttons and you automatically have cup holders. Personal room here with a removable tray and again, an open kind of center console, all right? Up top, you have just your lighting, very straight and simple to the point with the nice true light LED lighting. Loving that we're stepping away from that soft yellow lighting. The seating themselves do come cloth in the SEL trim. The driver's seat does come electric controlled and the passenger seat in this SEL comes manual controlled with manual levers, okay? In front of you, non-lockable glove compartment. All right, guys, now that we're pretty much done showing you guys the front side, let's go ahead and show you guys a quick look on the new 2024 backside of the interior. So now back seats of the 2024 Kona, we have that cloth coming in from the front to the back, car seat compatibility, 
armrest in that simple, nice, deep cup holders for your drinks. Let's go ahead and jump inside the car. Close this door. Now, I'm about six feet, two inches for the people who'd like to know, and the space test in this car is there, okay? In the front and also in the back. You literally have more room in this Kona than the last model, okay? What's in front of us? We do not have pockets on the back of those front seats. In between, you have two USB-C plugins, so you're not fighting for the plugins with a little bit of cubby room and then your vents. Up top, you have your O-snap handle to the left and the right your nice true light LED lighting, and then finishing off with the door panel and the same look coming over from the front and the back with that kind of matte black plastic look, okay? Now guys, we are pretty much done. As promised, here's your MSRP sticker so you guys get an idea of what comes on the car and the price tag on top for this SEL trim. We appreciate you guys watching our channel here at Vagabond Builds. Keep watching, stay tuned. We have more things cool, more cool things coming. God bless you.